guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a video like this in a really long time, so hello. <laughs> so today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five tips on transitioning into a vegan diet. And I've been meaning to do this video for like months now, and I did this video actually like a month ago or so, and I don't know where the footage went, it just disappeared. So I'm just filming it again, and I have five tips for you guys, so let's just get straight to it. My number one tip is do plenty of research and educate yourself and continue to educate yourself. I think it's really, really important to know exactly what you're going into before you actually go into it. A lot of people go into veganism kind of blindly, not really knowing exactly what they want out of it, not really knowing why they're doing it. They might be doing it for health reasons and I think if you do it for health reasons and only for health reasons, it's only a matter of time before you just go back to eating animal products because what what's holding you accountable, you know? I mean, I would never do it for health reasons only, so... I mean, the reason why I went vegan was because of ethical reasons, and although it took me a long time to actually fully transition, you know, I still went there because I knew that the, re the right reasons were there. So I think it's really important to educate yourself on basically all the different aspects of veganism, not just health, not just ethics, but basically everything. Ethics, health, environment. I would highly recommend watching a lot of documentaries. Just overload yourself with information. Some of the documentaries that I would definitely recommend are Earthlings, which I think is available on YouTube or just online in general. I hope it's available for free. I'm not sure anymore, but Earthlings is really, really important. That's the one that really got to me when I first watched it. Another thing that you can watch is Cowspiracy, which is available on Netflix right now, and I believe it's available worldwide on Netflix. So that's a really, really good movie to watch and very, very informative. Um, there's other ones like Forks Over Knives, um, Vegucated, and there's even a few on YouTube as well. There's one called 101 Reasons to Go Vegan, which I haven't watched yet, but apparently it's really good. You could also watch The Best Speech You'll Ever Hear by Gary Yurovsky. You can also watch the speech by Melody Joy called Carnism, something about carnism, beyond carnism. And that one is really, really good as well. So I'll leave all these links down below. There's also a lot of books that you can read. The one that I read that really got to me is Skinny Bitch. Um, there's also, you know, health-related books like The China Study, The Starch Solution, Eat to Live even, but these are all focused on health. And yeah, so there's a lot of information out there. Take advantage of the fact that there is so much information out there and just continue to educate yourself. If you only went vegan for health reasons or if you are considering going vegan for health reasons, please consider looking at the other side and looking at the ethics of it because it's so, so important. Tip number two. Try to focus on whole foods and make sure you eat enough of those whole foods. So when I say whole foods, I mean foods that have not been processed. So anything that is in its whole natural form, try to focus on eating many, many whole foods and as much whole foods as possible. Now, I do eat processed food, but I try to base most of my meals on whole foods. So rice, potatoes, pasta, fruits, vegetables, um, beans, legumes, um, lentils, things like that, that are just whole and it's it's just naturally vegan. So I think people overcomplicate things and they think that veganism is so complicated and so expensive, but because they're not focusing on whole foods. If you focus on whole foods and eating plenty of starches and plenty of vegetables, it's really not that complicated and it's really not that expensive. So focus on whole foods and make sure that you're eating more than you might even think that you need to because a lot of people, they just don't eat enough and they don't realize that they're not eating enough because the volume is probably a lot higher as a vegan than as a meat eater or as somebody that eats animal products because animal products are much more dense in calories and they are much higher in fat generally so you probably do need to eat more as a vegan when you're eating especially things like whole foods especially if your main focus is vegetables and fruits because those foods are higher in you know, water content, they're higher in fiber, and they're going to fill you up, but they're not necessarily going to give you enough calories. So make sure you eat enough, especially if you're feeling like lower in energy or something like that, then just eat more. That's probably what you need to do. Number three, do not be a perfectionist. And I think this is quite important. I think most people, when they 
come across the word vegan, it's scary, and I understand that it's scary. It's a scary word, and people think that once you call yourself vegan, you have to commit, and like, they're just afraid of commitment, I think, to be honest. That's why I couldn't call myself vegan for so long, because I was afraid of commitment. I was afraid of calling myself vegan and committing for the rest of my life. Don't focus so much on every single nitty bitty ingredient, every little thing. I think the most important thing is that you eliminate a the most obvious, especially when you're first transitioning. Do not overthink it. Just eliminate the obvious, you know, meat, dairy, eggs, fish, you know, all of those products that you know contain animals. And if you focus on things like whole foods, then you won't really need to overthink it that much and you won't need to worry so much about the little bits of ingredients and also if you make a mistake like you know there are times when even I, I still make mistakes like when I eat out for example I'll ask for no dairy, no eggs, blah 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 and sometimes dairy comes on my plate you know I don't know how it got there but it happens but don't overthink it I just kind of scrape it off and I just get on with my day and I don't stress about it because what is the point of stressing about it like yeah it sucks and yeah, next time I'll try to be a little bit more specific, whatever, but like, don't stress about it. Don't think that you're no longer vegan because you accidentally ate something that wasn't vegan or whatever. So many people are so worried about things that they really shouldn't be worried about. The main thing is that you're eliminating those main animal products and that you're trying your hardest to be as vegan as possible. That's what I would say. Don't try to be a perfectionist. Tip number four. Participate and be part of the community. For a lot of people, especially if they don't have lots of, you know, supportive friends around them or family members, it can be quite daunting and it can be very easy to just kind of go back to doing what everybody else is doing because they don't have any support. But thankfully, thanks to the power of the internet, there is a lot of support out there on the internet, especially if you have any questions and concerns and things like that. The vegan community is very, very helpful. If you have any questions at all, you could probably ask it on like Reddit or even on YouTube. I know that even when people ask questions on my videos, even if I don't respond, because <laughs> I'm really bad at responding to comments, um, at least on a timely basis, even if I don't respond, somebody else will kind of respond and like help out. And I think that's really great and I think it's really important for a lot of people. It really helps if you kind of participate in a community with like-minded people that can help you and that you can help each other and yeah. So like definitely take advantage of the internet, take advantage of YouTube, of Reddit. I think Tumblr has a pretty um, active vegan community as well. So just take advantage of those. And of course, if you live in a place, for example, like London, where there are a lot of vegans and there are pretty active vegan communities, then you can of course participate in those communities as well. And it's really exciting and it makes it just really fun. So that's what I would say. Tip number five, last but not least, this is probably the most important one. Well. One of the most important tips that I would say focus on the positive. It's very normal to go into veganism and have this very negative kind of mindset and very negative overview of everything. For example, when you if, let's say you first you've just heard about, you know, the amount of torture and the amount of suffering that animals have to go through, then you kind of start, you know, just thinking about all of the negative things and you think the world is just going to end and human beings are terrible people and we're just a bunch of terrible, I don't know, and you just keep thinking about all of these negative thoughts and that's, yes, it is true that there are some terrible things going on but at the same time, you know, you have to kind of know that there is hope out there and that things can change and that you can be part of the change and that is a very positive thing, the fact that you now understand that you can be part of this huge change that is going to happen very, very shortly. So just focus on that positive aspect of it rather than all of the negative things that has to do with, you know, animal cruelty and all of this stuff. Try to focus on the positive. I'm not saying ignore the animal cruelty, but I'm just saying that don't let that become the majority of your thoughts, if that makes sense. Another thing about focusing on the positive is that a lot of people, when they kind of think about transitioning into veganism, they kind of freak out and they kind of think, oh my god, but I can't eat this, I can't eat steak anymore, I can't eat bacon anymore, I can't drink this anymore, I can't do this and this and this and this, and they kind of make a mental list of all of the things that they can't eat or all the foods that they have to give up as a vegan and all this other stuff. Now, instead of focusing on all the foods that you can't eat anymore, focus on the foods that you can eat and all of the amazing vegan foods that are out there now that maybe you haven't even heard of 
and maybe you haven't even tried because you were so just caught up eating you know all the foods that everybody else was eating i can't tell you how many amazing meals i've had amazing vegan meals i've had and foods that i've tried that i never would have tried otherwise in my opinion it's really exciting and it just kind of opens the door up to so many new things that you could try and this is a very positive thing so instead of again focusing on all these foods and like thinking oh my god i can't eat this and this and this first of all you can eat those foods okay it's not like someone is forcing you down and making you eat vegan food you can eat all of those foods but now you're choosing not to now you are choosing you are actively deciding not to eat those products that you know cause harm um, for animals as well as your body it's it's a very positive thing you know just make sure that you remember that and also again don't focus on all of these other foods that are filled with animal products now look at you know look up vegan recipes there are so many amazing vegan recipes on the internet there's just so much out there i remember when i started kind of flirting with veganism i started baking a lot of vegan goods which was really fun and yeah so it's, it's really exciting so try to focus on the positive instead of all of the negative things that may come with the vegan lifestyle anyways my throat really hurts anyways that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really think that with uh veganism and something like this it's really all in the mind it really really is i think most people they when they say they can't do it it's all in the mind it's kind of like saying oh i can't get up every morning to go to the gym or i can't do this and this and this and this reality is you can do it and you know you can do it it's just all in your head and you just have to make those transitions and yes it may take longer than overnight and i totally get that and it took me a lot longer than overnight so don't beat yourself up you know just learn 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 educate yourself participate and do all of these things and one day you will hopefully get there but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and see you guys in my next video bye